In addition to the families, friends, and loved ones waiting at the pier, about 100 Naval Submarine School students welcomed back the USS Dallas to the Naval Submarine Base in Groton on Monday. There's no better way for, for them to really get a full appreciation for what it means to deploy on a submarine and then to see what it is to, for that homecoming, that, that end of the, of the race, if you will, is that sense of accomplishment. They get to see that. They get to see the family, uh, the excitement here. And, and if anything, it's going to really drive home that message of how important it is that what we do and uh, also how important it is for us to have our family support. Family members welcomed home their sailors after a nearly seven month absence. It's not the easiest, but we make do, especially when you got a little toddler at home, it's sometimes a little hectic, but you know, you just do what you gotta do. Kara LeFevre introduced her husband Sebastian to their daughter Rylin for the first time. He Skyped with her. Um, I got induced when he was in port, so he would be able to see her and she literally came two minutes and then he got back on the boat to leave. It was perfect. Oh my god, you guys are so big! I'm just thrilled, excited, <laughs> every single feeling possible. The deployment to Europe and the Middle East was the last one for the Dallas, which was commissioned in 1981. The boat having the name Dallas and the, that pride that the Texas folks have it, that, that's what the, the crew carried, was that, that, that sense of pride, that sense of giving. Kind of sad that it's going to be a, an end to the Dallas, but I'm very proud of them, I'm proud of the entire crew.